Are you guys going to Japan? You want to know where to go? Tokyo or Kyoto? In this video, we'll talk about just that. So when you go to Japan, if you go, which you should definitely do, um, there's two major cities that people generally go to. Tokyo or Kyoto. I actually recommend if you can go for at least a week or two weeks, go to both places. Go to Tokyo first. I think it's cheaper to fly into that airport and then go to Kyoto afterwards. So Kyoto is the old capital. Tokyo is the new capital. Kyoto is has a lot of beautiful old temples and a lot of historical sites and whatnot. It's a very, very beautiful city to walk around. It's not as busy, busy as Tokyo and there's a lot of cool things going on, a lot of beautiful places to see, a lot of good food to try. If you can drive between Tokyo and Kyoto, it is a long drive, about five or so hours, but you can stop in Mount Fuji, you can see a lot of the cool sights, you can go through the mountains, the bamboo forests, you can stop and check out maybe the Red Ribbon Forest if you want to. Um, in another video, maybe I'll talk about that. It's kind of a spooky but cool place to check out. But in Tokyo, Tokyo the new capital, there's many, many, many people. There's a lot of people in Tokyo. I want to say there's 33, 32 million people in Tokyo. It might have gone up. For some reason, I feel like there's 37. Don't quote me on this. I'll just look it up on Google to make sure um, you know, how many people are there. But it's one of the most populated cities in the world. It's very packed. People's living quarters are generally very small. The, the room that I live in right now in my apartment is probably the size of a lot of apartments in, in Tokyo. I mean, I have a you know, decent sized room. It's maybe 10 by 10 or something. You know, not too big, not too small. Um, 10 by 10 by 8 or something. But I've been in apartments in Japan and even in the rural areas, they might have you know just enough room for bed, just enough room for a TV on the side. And then behind that, they have like a little bathroom shower and a little kitchenette. So tiny little place, place, places, and many, many people wash their own clothes there. Tokyo versus Kyoto. So uh, back on the topic. So Tokyo, um, if you go there, there's a lot more nightlife. There is, they're a lot closer to the ocean. You can go uh, surfing, you know, in Chiba, which is an hour or so drive from downtown Tokyo. Um, you can do, you can go see Sky Tree. You can do a lot of different festivals and stuff in both places. There's a lot going on in both cities. I think if you're going to go to anime or uh, Comic Con, a lot of those are in Tokyo. They might have some in Kyoto, but Kyoto is like the traditional old city and then the more traditional old city. And Tokyo is the more modern, kind of techie, kind of up and, up and coming kind of city. It's like maybe mm, comparing Chicago and Seattle. Seattle would be like Kyoto, kind of cooler, you know, hipper and whatnot. Tokyo might be Chicago, like kind of more business, fast paced, definitely cool city, a lot of cool things to do, but um, I kind of compare it like that. It's kind of hard. I don't um, I actually haven't been to Kyoto, but I've done a lot of research on it because we're going there pretty soon. But I spent a lot of time in Tokyo and I spent a few years in Japan, so I know kind of the, the ins and outs to the different perspectives on the two cities. Anyway, this has been a NST on Tokyo versus Japan. If you guys like this video, um, just give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch more videos about Japan and more video vlogs and whatnot, just subscribe to that bell icon and you will be notified every single time that I post a video. Alright guys, peace out. Never stop traveling.